troubleshooting video two. Machine, when you turn the key on, you do get lights on the panel, but as you're cranking the engine, it does not fire up. Remember, in order to have the machine running, you do have to have water connected to it. So once you turn the key on, and if the water is turned on, you should have two lights lighting up. Right now, I don't have any water connected. When I turn the key, I, you can only see the, uh, the yellow light is on. But once you connect the machine to the fresh water tank or water faucet, you should have a nice bright green light coming on. Now, one of the first areas you check, you're cranking the machine continuously and there is no firing up. In other words, the machine just continuously starts but does not fire up. Make sure the faucet that you connect this machine to or the uh, fresh water supply is, is uh, uh, supplying the machine with good amount of water by making sure that your faucet is completely turned on, not just a couple of twists. Also make sure there is no um, uh, kink inside your garden hose. If that area is okay, now we're gonna move into the machine itself. For an engine to run, the two things are needed. Number one is the gas or the fuel. If you do have fuel inside of your fuel filter, okay, we're fine. That means our fuel pump is operating correctly. Now, as the water enters our unit, it must pass through a normally closed uh, sensor, which of course you can see a purple and a black wire. Now, this sensor, if we follow the purple wire is going to come all the way to the front and connect itself to a white wire com coming out of the engine which is called the kill wire. Now the same purple wire, it will end up to the float switch inside of the tank. The job of this float switch is, is basically uh, once the uh, recovered water started rising, it kind of it moves into an up position and once it moves to the up position, it has the ground wire and the keel which is connected to the sensor and eventually to the engine keel wire to contact to uh, shut down the engine for safety. Now, if in order to troubleshoot and figure out which one of the areas are bad, first disconnect your white and purple. If the uh, engine fires up, that means there's two possibility of uh, problem that we have. One will be the sensor. In order to test the sensor, it's simple. If you, like I said, if you happen to disconnect the wire and the engine fires up, go ahead and reconnect the white and the purple back on, but this time, disconnect the purple off the water sensor. If the machine fires up, that is our problem. The either inside of the, uh, by, taking, by taking the switch off, right below the, uh, the sensor, there is a small weep hole where the water goes in as the water enters to the machine and separates the kill and the ground to allow the machine to start by supplying the spark plug with a spark. So that area, by taking it off, the bottom hole of the sensor might be clogged and need to be cleaned up. Or you probably have either a frozen or bad sensor. Let's say you went ahead, connected the white and the purple, come back here, we, you disconnected the purple, but the machine still does not fire up. Go ahead and reconnect this. But this time, come in and disconnect this, uh, the float of the machine. In other words, you may have either a bad or dirty float sensor inside your tank. So these are the areas you're gonna check if the machine does start, but she does not keep running, okay? So we're going to go ahead and cut the story short so we can do the third video. Thank you.